Hi you guys, welcome back to my channel. Welcome to see my new machine. So for today's video, I'm back with the story time. But first, if you're not subscribed, make sure you hit that subscribe button down below. Make sure you turn your notification bell so you can be notified every single time I upload a new video. And also, don't forget to follow me on my social media platform. That's Instagram, Twitter, Snapchat, and now TikTok, okay? It'll be down in the description box down below for your convenience. And yeah, let's get started. But first, before we start this video, if you're a returning subscriber, it's all love. I want to thank you for all your support and I want to do my shout out for today for today's shout out um, we have Anaya underscore IMVU space IMVU um, shout out to you girl thank you so much for your support you were the first to comment um, asking for a shout out last video and you were actually the first comment in general so I really appreciate you I want to say thank you thank you for your support keep supporting me sharing my videos and all that good stuff okay and interacting in my comment section I really appreciate you girl thank you and also if you would like to get a chance to be featured or shout it out on my videos just make sure you comment down below you know shout out and then you just leave a comment regarding the video I'll make sure I give you a shout out on my next video okay cool now we can get started so this story time right actually let me put some lip gloss on I'll be back so guys, I'm back. But yeah, this story time took place when, you know, this person and I started dating. We haven't even hit like our one year mark. And yeah, so that was like my boyfriend. It was a fresh relationship because I believe a relationship that's like under six months to a year is still fresh. It's still new. So yeah, we started dating when we were in, oh my gosh, when we were in college. So y'all already know that I'm talking about my bae. I'll just say it, okay? I don't care. People can figure it out who it is. I don't care. So, <laughs> this story took place, you know, when me and Bae started dating. It was like, our first few months together, we have not hit a year yet for sure. And um, I was new in college. If you guys don't know, we met like my first or second week of college. And um, this girl started to like get close to me, right? So, in my head, I'm like, okay, she's just, you know, getting close to me. I'm the new student. I guess she want to make me feel comfortable and stuff like that. But um, she was also friends with Ben and like a whole group of other girls and boys that we were friends with back in college. So I was like, okay, you know, it's just a group of friends. So I didn't think nothing of it overall. Like I didn't, I didn't. So one day this girl and I were just like chatting up, you know, you know, ch chatting, chatting and, you know, just sharing things together. Nothing, nothing relationship wise. Nothing like that because this girl is the type of girl that like she likes to hide her stuff, okay? That's why we're gonna call her anonymous because she likes to do things on the low, but she wanna know all your business but never share hers. So we weren't talking about we we're talking about things like different things like you know, life in college, how it is. She was asking me how, you know, is college so far. I was telling her, you know, you know, what I what is my experience so far in college and so on and so forth. And she would tell me, Oh, I've been here for this number of years. You know, she was trying to teach me about college, technically. Well, those are the type of things we were talking about that day. And then, then I don't know what she's going to ask me. How is my relationship with Bay? And I'm like, it's good. It's good. It's going great, actually. And then she's like, oh, I just feel like I need to tell you this before someone else does. So I'm like, tell me what? You know, like, I'm so shook. Like, I'm like, tell me what? And then she's like, well... Your bae used to, you know, want to date me. He even asked me to be his girlfriend. I just told him, you know, that I was more into, like, more mature and older guys and stuff like that. Like, he used to, you know, like, li like me so much to the point that, you know, at school, everybody knew that, you know, he liked me. All these crazy things. So, I'm like, okay, when did this happen? She's like, oh, it happened, like, last year and stuff. I'm like... I wasn't with him at that time, so why are you telling me this? What, what, was, the reason. Reason. what was the reason? What was the reason? What was the reason? And then she was like, oh no, I'm just telling you because I don't want anyone else to tell you. I wanted to be the first one telling you and all those things. So I'm like, yeah, thank you. I appreciate it, but I honestly do not care because I had a life myself before him. So... Um, little did she know, by the way, when me, when I started dating any guy, this is my rule. I like us to share, you know, what we've been through, you know, what we have done, the type of people we have talked to. Not because I want to know so much of your past. It's more so, like, I don't want to hear something. So, little did she know, like, Bay had already told me about this situation. He told me, yeah, he had a crush on her, you know. And, of course, the girl is pretty. She's not, like, a bad-looking girl. 
So he was he had a crush on her. So he did a lot of other guys and stuff like that. But she, that her excuse was always like she was into like older guys and more mature guys. So that's why he told me, right? But the part that he asked her out, you know, he never really like you know talked about it. He only told me he you know he used to have a crush on her and she knew about it. He told her and stuff like that. And then she said she was into older guys and stuff like that. So I was like, oh wow. Why, you know, in my head, I'm like, why is she telling me this? And I was like, oh, okay, really? She was like, yeah, you know, he asked me to be his girlfriend, da 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 She started telling me, her, you know, how everything went. And she was like, yeah, at school, he would even buy me food at the cafeteria sometimes and stuff like that. I was like, wow, okay, cool. And I was like, you know, thank you for telling me. I appreciate it. He did mention to me that he had a crush on you, like, back, like, like back then. But um, I never knew about it actually asking you. You know, asking somebody out, that's a whole other step. Okay, like it's different to tell somebody, oh, I have a crush on you, but asking somebody out, that's like a whole nother step. But anyways, I didn't know him back then, so it wasn't really a big deal. So boom, that day, you know, he, cause I was at her place, he came and picked me up cause you know, we we're chilling, me and her were hanging out. So he came and picked me up and the car was just like, why didn't you tell me? He was like, tell you what? And I was like, why didn't you tell me you asked her out? And then he was like, oh, I think you know, I didn't really think about it. I thought when I told you that I told her I liked her, you kind of figured out. I was like, no, I didn't. Why didn't you tell me? You actually asked her to be your girlfriend. And she said, that's why she answered that she was into older guys and more mature guys. So why didn't you, you know, tell me that part? And then he was like, oh, I thought you figured it out when I said, you know, I told her I had a crush on her and stuff like that. And then I was like, anyways, it's not a problem, but I just felt like that was a bit shady. That's a bit funny for her to like, try to like, tell me that out of nowhere like that like what is she trying to prove you know so i felt like it was a bit you know fishy right so i let it go we you know he dropped me off he, he apologized he was i'm sorry for not telling you and stuff like that i was like don't worry about it like it's cool you know i didn't know you then i had my own things that i did before like but you know i'm very open with like what i've done in the past and stuff like that that's with any of my relationship i'm very open with that part so i was like i had it i had certain things that i did in the past and I told you about, you know, so if tomorrow one of those guys come up and trying to tell you, oh, you know, I used to talk to your ex, your now girl or whatever the case is, not, you know, at least you know, because I told you, because cause one thing I hate is I don't want him to be out here looking, you know, crazy around other people and not knowing that, okay, this guy, you know, I talked to this guy and stuff like that. So I'm very open with that part and I like my partner to also do the same. And we actually share those type of things. So... After that, you know, he kept telling me he was sorry for not telling me that he actually asked her out and stuff. But he was like, girl, that was like over a year ago. Like, that was, it passed a long time ago. Like, the crush came and as, as, as quick as it came, he left as quick as well. When she told me she was into more mature guys and, and older guys, you know, I just backed up. You know, we remain friends and that's just friendship, friendship and stuff like that. So I was like, okay, cool, because I trust him. I believe him because he really, like opened up to me, you know, with a lot of things that he has done and stuff like that. So I was like, cool. And like, I had issues trusting people, but for some reason when I met Bay, like after a few months, I was already like starting to trust him. I wasn't fully trusting him like, for like right now that he's my husband, but I was like trusting him to a very like extent. But one of the things that I trusted him in was like telling me the truth about the people he talked to, what he has done and stuff like that. So I was like, don't worry about it, you know, I understand. So I got, he dropped me off at home, you know, we kissed goodbye, da, 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 he dropped me off. So I get home, I call her, you know, I'm like, I got home safe, because that's one thing I like to do. When I get home from somebody's house, I like to call them and tell them I got home safe and stuff like that. So if they're worried, they don't have to worry no more. So um, I was like, oh, I got home safe, thank you for the day, I had a nice day, you know. You know, it was good chilling with you, but can I really understand, like, what was really behind your reason? Of telling me that my man, you know, asked you out and uh, had a crush on you and all that. Like, what was the point? And she was like, no, I just wanted you to know because I see that we are getting closer. And I don't want you to hear from somebody else or think anything of it once you hear it. I was like, by the way, he had already told me that, you know, he told you he had a crush on you. And he told me your response was, you're into, immature, uh, you're into more mature guys and uh, into older guys. And she was like... That's what I told him, yeah, that's what I told him when he asked to be his girlfriend because he was he's also a guy a nice guy and a guy and I didn't want to just be like no. I want him to understand my reason of saying no and I was like, okay. But like what was like like your reason? Because I felt like there was something behind reason. What was the reason? I just explained, I just explained the reason. What was the reason? What was the reason?
again. And then that's when she eventually told me that, oh, that's because I just wanted to let you know that he wanted me first. Yep, that's what she said. She wanted me to know that he wanted her first. Yep. I was like, wow. <laughs> like, I was so shook. I was like, okay, he wanted you first. Okay, but it never went anywhere. So, <laughs> I don't see why she even know that in the first place, you know? So, I was like, I was so mind blown. But that was her reasoning because she wanted me to know that he wanted her first. He wanted her first. And then I was like, okay, him wanting you first, that has nothing to do with you guys do anything together. So I don't care to know that, right? And she was like, yeah, you know, if I had said yes, he would have been dating me at this time as we speak. I'm like, like in my head, I'm like, you know, WTF. But I told her, I was like, you know, first of all, I feel like you're mad that you missed a good guy because you see the way he treats me and you know that you missed a good guy. Second of all, I feel like you just wanted to tell me that so I can be mad at him or feel angry one whole time. He actually shared that he told you he had a crush on you. Yes, he didn't say that he asked you out per se, but he did share that he had a crush on you. And third of all, I honestly don't care because he had other girlfriends before me. You know what I'm saying? I had other boyfriends before him. So I did not understand the point. You know, I did not understand what she meant and all that good stuff. But anyways, after that, I was like, oh, okay cool nice to know thank you for the day once again and i'll talk to you later and then she's okay cool bye so after i hung up i called jordan, i called jordan i told him what she said and stuff like that. he was like wow girls are just so crazy like she really wanted you to know just because she wanted you to know that i wanted her first one whole time i had other girlfriends before even talking to her or telling her that i had a crush on her like what and i was like man don't worry about it it's cool it's cool and then <clears throat> ever since then i just decided to like you know, I'm cool with her to this day as we speak. That's what I'm saying. People will probably, like, put the puzzle together and know who I'm talking about. But I honestly don't mind because, you know, I'm telling the story and she knows this really happened. So, boom. But, yeah, I'm still cool with her to this day. Oops. Sorry, my foundation fell. Um, Talking about foundation, have you guys realized how good the skin is starting to look? We're taking care of the skin all 2020. Stop playing, Okay. But anyways, um, ever since then, even though now we are cool, realize I said we're cool, right? We are cool now. I'm like, I'm a bit, you know, I don't share certain things with her because I'm like, if I really start sharing how my relationship is going and what my man, what my man does for me, how happy he makes me feel, she might end up feeling some type of way and want him back. You never know. You know, girls out here are just a bit sometimes so crazy and stuff. So I'm like, yeah. So ever since then, I became cool with her. I stayed cool with her, but... I didn't push the friendship to go like more than just like cool. Like we're cool, we see each other high, high. You know, once or twice a year we we'll hit up to each other to see how we are doing. But that's about it. Especially since that since now everybody is doing their own thing. You know, ever since then, by the way, I my heart I'm the type of person that when you make me feel like I shouldn't trust you, my heart just shuts down. So my heart just told my, my told me that just like, just keep this friend in the cool level. She cannot be your friend. She's just going to be uh, cool. And that's what I did ever since then. For all these years, that's what we have been. Cool. But anyways, guys, that's the end of the story time. I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you so much for watching today's video. If you like this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Also, don't forget to comment down below. Anything you would like to know, any other video or topics that you would like me to talk about, I got you. Or if you guys if you guys have any questions regarding the story time or what you guys, you know, if you guys want me to add a bit more tea in the comment section, I can do that. Also, don't forget to comment down below if you would like to get a shout out. And make sure your post notification bell is turned on so you can get notified every single time I upload a new video. And I will catch you guys on my next video. Bye, guys.